See, we have a program in files to copy the data of one file to another file. File copy. So we have line number one and two are header files. As you know, stdio.h is for scan of print of and stdlib.h is for exit. You can see the comments there. Line number six, we have two pointers fptr1 and fptr2. Line number seven, we have a declaration, string declaration. The name of the variable here is file name with size 100. And line number 8 is an integer variable declared. So we have to enter the file, input file as well as output file, the source file and destination file. The data from one file to be copied to another file. So what you have to do here is, before executing this program, Select any drive in your computer, create a file and put some data in that, save the file and check once you execute it, you have to give that input of the file, that is the name of the file. So FPTR is your first file pointer. Look at line number 14, you are opening the file name in read mode, means you are going to read the data from first file. If it is not available, you get a message, cannot open the file and exit, just come out of it. Now line number 21, 22, you have to enter the file name to where you want to copy the data. And line number 25, you are opening the second file in write mode. The first one is open in read mode as you are reading the data from file 1 and you are copying the data to file 2. And again you are checking for null means if the file name is not available, you get you get an error message. Now the base logic of this program is line number 33, 34 and 35, 36. As we know, to read the data from file, we use a function f get c. There are two functions get c and f get c. f get c. Look at that c is equal to f get c fptr1 means you are reading the data from file 1. And f put c, c comma fptr2. Very simple logic f get c to read the data from file and f put c to write the data to file. So this logic is to copy the data from file 1 to file 2. And EOS is, EOF is end of file. So once the data is copied and you use printf to Put a message on screen, contents, copy to and file name and close the file. Once we execute the program, you get a message like this on screen. Enter the file name to open for reading. So I created a file a student.dat student.txt in C drive. You have to specify the full path. Now it is asking enter the file name to open for writing the data. So you create an another file, empty file and save it. Now you type the path of the file. So once you press enter key, you get the message, the contents copy to C drive and file name is file.txt. Now you have to open 
go to that uh, file.txt and check whether the data is copied. So this is your uh, student.txt. I just use some data for that. Now open the output file that is your file.txt and you can find the data. The data is copied from student.txt to file.txt. 